Okay, here are some of my pop-up books from the 1930s. The Bucano and Daily Express Children's Annual Pop-Ups by Theodore Brown, he was the paper engineer. Here's one called The Adventure and Building Book, which is very rare and came to me in pieces. I've never seen another copy, um, including The Enchanted Castle, which is the opening pop-up, with most of the bits but certainly not in the right order. On the right here, you can see the same idea, the same model, basically, that was used in a later pop-up book. So I've been able to um, get the necessary information about the missing parts from that one. You'll see that in the original book, there's the rather loose artwork by Theodore Brown himself, and that's been more delineated. It's been redone by another artist. And again, we can see the original Theodore Brown background, which has been changed to a more modern style and the new one has a short tree and the old one had a much bigger tree but apart from that the actual castle is the same now these individual sections um, have to be sewn together to start with and uh, we've also got this plate which at some point will need to be tipped in and it's got some nasty sellotape marks the sellotape's been removed but of course the staining is still there so I'll see if we can improve that a little bit. But, um, you know, it's uh, 70 more years old, 80 years old, um, and it's mostly there. Now, because the first pop-up's on the opening board um, with the end paper, we have to curl up, I've had to curl back the end paper here in order to be able to get some mull or gauze um, underneath. So you can see it's now underneath the design. So it's sandwiched in between the parts of the board. And one of the pop-ups was an aeroplane which Theodore Brown designed, probably the first aeroplane he designed, and I'm not sure that he'd ever actually seen an aeroplane. Um, and here's the um, peacock which had been constructed by the previous owner, that's fine. So now we've got to sew this lot together, and um, I've had to make uh, guards uh, for the creases on many of these basically just from some uh, acid free paper you can get that from eBay um, just to reinforce the, the folded section there um, and I'm, I'm making the holes for the new sewing um, and uh, that's the seam for the oops it's coming undone there it's gonna have to be glued back uh, that's the scene for the farmyard, which I'm not going to cut out and construct. I'll leave that within the pages of the book as an unmade model. Um, now this sewing, you can find out how to do it uh, easily enough. Any book on home book binding quickly shows you how to do the sewing. Um, it's easier if you have a sewing frame. But I don't have a sewing frame. Uh, and it's but it's quite possible without one and it's just a bit more fiddly it takes a bit longer um, and you'll be happy to know that I'm not going to show you the video of me sewing the whole of the book just enough to get the idea and then these sections the, the spine then has to be glued with this white glue I'm using professional book binders white glue uh, because it dries slightly more quickly than standard PVA, but you can use PVA. And then I'll leave that to dry, and I will actually um, put a clamp on that while it's drying. And now if you remember that board with the gauze, uh, that now goes, text block now goes on there. Uh, some more junk paper, put that on the scrap, and then glue, I have to glue the, um, the silk, sorry, the gauze, uh, and push that very tightly onto the backs of the signatures there. And that's going to be done much more carefully than you see me doing here. I have to work on that for a few minutes. Um, when it's finished, um, and you can see here it's drying, it's been worked in, it's got some clamps on there and it's drying, in fact it's dry. And I'm now putting some glue on a strip of brown craft paper, basically just ordinary um, wrapping paper, brown wrapping paper, re-gluing the spine because you want plenty on here, you want this to adhere properly because the um, the brown wrapping paper strip holds the gauze 
stops it from getting floppy, stops the book from getting shaky um, as it's uh, used over the years, just keeps the whole thing tight. And that again has to be worked in um, very carefully to make sure it's, everything is sticking to it. And that takes a minute or two. As you can see, none of this is difficult. You don't use special tools, it just takes a while. It's not a professional repair, but it's good enough for a generation. The back paper, I had to mix up the paints um, to get them right. So we painted a piece of paper to go on there. In fact, there's several pieces of paper because you don't just glue it on the back, it's a special technique. The whole thing seems to be holding together uh, quite well as the peacock pops up nicely and folds back in again, hopefully without being crushed. That's the trick, yeah. There were some colour printing pages. I should have used those for the pop-ups perhaps rather than these stories, but uh, and the back's not too bad. Now, the aeroplane. Here I've just started to assemble the aeroplane. I have to say something of a challenge, even using the complicated detailed instructions inside the book. Um, a little bit fiddly and again the big trick is to be able to stick it to both sides of the book uh, but in such a way that it folds without being crushed. This is a pop-up of a ship which I don't think they ever did. You can see the spine's okay. So the aeroplane does indeed pop up. It's rather inelegant, um, but it's quite fun. And again, the trick when it's completed, will it all just disappear into the book when the book is closed? Yes, it does. Good. And remember that enchanted castle in bits, well, including the princess who hides inside the castle when it's finished. Let's see what happened. Here we go. A little bit of help. It pops up quite nicely. That's finished with some replacement parts and some repairs. And that stained page, uh, only halfway there, but we, around the edges have started to remove some of the stain and getting there. Just a little bit more work to do on that. And then the adventure and building book has been rebuilt and it was quite a pleasant adventure.